Postman is an API testing tool that Braze supports that allows you to test your Braze API calls. For this video, we'll be covering how to set up your environment in Postman and how to do several common calls to the API. For this, you will need to obtain some information, your API endpoint and your API key. Navigate to our API list in Braze documentation to find your API endpoint. You'll need your cluster URL information to select the right one. Reach out to your CSM or account manager if you don't know this information. Your API key can be found by navigating to the developer console and creating an API key. For this example, we will be using an all-access API key. But if you're providing this to people in your company to test endpoints, you may want to limit permissions. Be careful who you share your API endpoints with. Once you have this information available, download Postman off the Postman website. Next, go to the Braze documentation site and search Postman. Here, you can find links to our Postman docs. Use the Run in Postman button to download these endpoints. Next, in Postman, you can see a collection of all the endpoints we have available. You will see in the endpoints there are variables surrounded by curly brackets. These variables can be replaced manually or auto-replaced upon creating an environment. To create an environment, click the eye icon in the upper right corner of Postman. Next, click the Add button under Environment. In this new page that appears, you will set the variables you need to make API calls. First, we will add a new variable, API key, and paste in the API key we created in our dashboard. Next, we will add a variable instance URL and paste in the REST API URL. Once these variables have been added, we will save this environment. Using the endpoints collection, we will show two basic examples. First, we will practice a use case where a user creates a purchase of two pairs of shoes. This can be done with the user's track endpoint and your app identifier. We will also be using this new environment we just created by selecting New Environment beside the eye icon. This user does not exist in Braze yet, so the track user's endpoint will create a new user profile for this user. If the user had already existed, it would update the existing data there. Once we have input the necessary information, we will run the request and ensure we receive a successful response. If you do not receive such a response, Ensure that your API key, API endpoint, and variables are formatted correctly. Formatting with examples can be found on our documentation site and Postman documentation site. Next, we can verify the call by visiting the dashboard and looking up the user you just created by inputting their user alias on the user search page. With everything appearing as it should, we can verify that our call was run correctly. Testing on Postman is a great opportunity to check these calls in a user-friendly testing environment before making large requests from your app. Note that Postman requests will incur data point usage. For the second half of this example, let's say your user would like their data removed from your site or app. This can be done using the user's delete endpoint. To do this, input the user alias provided in the first example. With a successful response, we can be sure their information is removed. We've included a link to this documentation in the description below. If this was helpful, give us a like, and to keep up with other helpful videos for developers, click the subscribe button. Happy testing!